drugs and stuff like that because everyone's everyone wants to party in Hawaii. But, well, yeah, it's, it's Hawaii. All right, so getting in the game, in the bottom right, we have our orange Terran, Velazis. And up in the top left, we're going to do the We do have our... Is this teal or turquoise? What do you want to call it? Teal or turquoise? You take your pick. I think everybody will know what you're talking about. All right, I guess let's go ahead and be the teal Terran up in the top left corner of Whirlwind. It is slick. Almost said silk. That would have been bad. <laughs> I know in, uh, in Brood War, this color was always teal, but I think that might have been just because it was faster to type. And I was always playing team games anyway. I wasn't playing Brood War like it was meant to be played. I didn't even realize there was competitive StarCraft. I thought, mm. you know, I thought fastest money map was probably the best way to play. You know? That was so much fun. <laughs> Cannon in, get mass carriers or mass scouts, whatever you want. And oh, no, I went old school. I went straight up Dragoons. Dragoons, Zealot, uh, push it like, I think I did it at like 6. I mean, when I got it up. The thing with StarCraft uh, 1, though, was like that the pathing and everything was so bad that cannons were just amazingly good. I would like literally. Oh, you know, they're so you could good. Fit, you could fit five cannons across, I believe, in the, in the choke and fastest money map and yeah i would fill it up entirely there'd be a pylon in the middle and that pylon radius would reach out you know two square or oh yeah two no, cannon no, size I, I, on each side that was it and i just keep building cannons if there was pressure you just keep building cannons and i thought i was so good at the game because i could win fastest money map i actually got up to i think it was at one point it was in root war oh nice it's really impressive Whoops. I mean, I was I was pretty good, but I, I played in North America, unfortunately. So, I think a lot of it was latency that could be from getting higher. But yeah, who uh, knows? Oh well, I had my A day in S two. <laughs> can you still hear me? Yeah, I got you. Plenty right. of sound. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, Skype just popped up and said that it uh, stopped responding, and now it's all like grayed out, like it's not working. But apparently, it is. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I know. I think we actually might have mirror builds in these guys coming out here. It depends on. What they do next, and they're both scouting in the wrong direction. That's always fun to see. I mean, they're cross spawn. They're pretty. I mean, it'd be. Kind Isn't of... it force cross spawn now? I. I think. I think it? the new ladder edition is force cross spawn because I know it isn't. Oh crap! No, really frost. I think. Cross spawn? I've been. Scouting. I think frost is force crossed. Okay, that would make more sense. But this whirlwind is... is not. Okay, because yeah, I was. I was gonna say I was pretty sure I played games with them both on the same side. If I've been spending the entire season scouting every spawn location, yeah, no, I'm gonna be like, well, oh, crap. It's like that on. It's like we do have a factory coming in here from Slick. I keep wanting to call him Silk, man. Come on. Yeah, these guys are even positioning their Marines the same way. But the SCV does get in for Velazis, and he's gonna see that. Uh, I mean, there's nothing back here to deny it. Although this Marine does pop out yeah. right as he sees the factory. Yeah, he definitely sees the factory, and I'm pretty sure he even saw. He's actually no, he's going to deny the fast CC here from Valzus, or deny vision of the fast CC. Excuse oh, really? Me. He didn't even see that? Oh, wow, that's no, really I don't think he big. did. That is going to be key. Looks like Slick could get away with a, or not Slick, excuse me, Valzus could get away with a heck of a play here. That was a pretty clutch. That was. That was really nice control. And uh, let's see, is it going to be Cloaked Banshees maybe from, uh, from Slick? It could be. Uh, he could go Hellbat drops. <laughs> Not really. Um, <laughs> I mean, nobody really does that anymore. It, it does look like it's going to be Banshees. I, yeah, yeah, I do think it is going to be Cloaked Banshee. But I think, actually, I think Slick might anticipate this. We do have a bunker going up. The question is where it is in the... Well, where is that bunker? I can't find it. Bunker's right at the entrance. For Valazis, down the bottom right. Oh, it's Valazis' bunker. Okay, that's what it was. Yeah. Love it. And then the, the Cloak Banshees are coming out by Slick. He's going to scan oh, and see wow. it, though, so he's going to be totally prepared for it. Canceling the Cloak as soon as that scan finishes and getting out a Raven instead. Raven instead, Just yeah. prepare for Cloak so Banshees. I apologize himself. for just saying that completely badly. That uh, was completely backwards. My bad. Yeah, no, it's all right. It happens. Uh, Engineering like can remember that, you know, they're both the same race. What in the world? I think Slick is completely overreacting here. I think he's assuming that Cloak Banshee's coming out from Valazis, and Valazis is like, yeah, no, not really, dude. I mean, Engineering Bay, it's a cheap building, and it's really, it can't be a bad investment. You know, you get plus one earlier in, in the worst case scenario. The thing is, he just, yeah. like, uh, I don't think Slick's been able to, you know, he hasn't used Scout. the scan, so he hasn't scouted anything. Like, he just has to be prepared for everything right now. He so, sees nothing. That is not a place where you want to be. But, uh, I mean, at the same time, it's not going to be punished, so it's actually good he was able to spend that energy on mules. 
and you can see that Velazus is uh, waiting for those cloaked banshees, banshees to show up. He's got tons of marines in his main. He's putting down missile turrets now. Second does finish up here from Slick. And it looks like we might... Actually, I think we're going to see a stim tank push here from Slick. We might. And I'm actually kind of surprised to see that the worker counts are pretty similar. There's a two worker lead for Velazus. But uh, everything else is pretty much, it, I mean, it's pretty much parallel. Despite getting that command center up so much earlier, I think he just yeah. cranked out Marines to make sure that he was safe against the cloaked banshees that aren't even going to end up coming. Yeah, really. I mean, of course, the use of cloak at the moment is a wasted investment unless he decides to, you know, for some reason use it later. But who knows? But other than that, I think they've gone back to copying each other again. Well, I, don't, I don't think either player has invested in cloak, have they? Did you, oh wait, did he end up canceling the cloak? Yeah, yeah, he canceled it as soon as. The oh, okay, finished. okay. Uh, yeah, that's what. It was. And then he and then he switched from banshees to raven. So. I think I thought he just canceled the banshee. That is my apology. So actually, yeah, because it looks like it's going to be all right for you, for both of them. All right, I'm hoping for a mech game here. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice to see. Those guess, are always uh, fun. Always good to see a gum to behind team. on his tech though, just because he didn't try to go for that one base play. So uh, well, just, this yes. Raven might be able to get some really nice Seeker missile shots off. And that little pack of Marines here is just looking so juicy for that Raven. <laughs> oh yeah. If there's Back a bunch in the of the engagement, then uh, he's going to have to micro those just right. You can see missile oh, yeah. turrets going up all around. He's still worried about the cloaked Banshees. Hasn't realized that that was uh, cancelled. Nice scan there from Slick though. Yeah. And he was actually uh, even able to see the Bioforce uh, transferring, I think. Yeah, moving back out. And it looks like a reactor is going to go on to, or excuse me, a starport is going to go on to this reactor, I'm assuming, which means we're going to see some some medivacs come out here pretty soon, I'm assuming. I mean, the, I, mean I could be wrong, but that, that seems to be the standard. The advantage, too, is being able to do the drop play because uh, Slick actually looks like he's going for more of a standard mech TBT. Yeah, as I was about to say, it looks like we are going to see some mech with the armor coming down. Which makes me excited as a little schoolboy right now, because <laughs> I love me some gum TVT. And Although, this whole bio push is gonna be scouted right in the middle. The marine got there just in time to see that. They did, and I think he's got with these two tanks back here up in the natural. I think he's got more than enough defense to deal with that push when it does get here. Or, I mean, he's already got some pretty dang good splits here up on the high ground. All it's gonna take is just one little step too far into the range of those tanks, and boom. Yeah, I mean, that he's actually waiting for those medevacs to get over there. Uh, this Ooh, elevator up. He moved the Raven and the Viking over to stop the drop, but I think he moved it out just a little bit too far this time. Uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 don't, I do not really like that position. I mean, usually you don't see a drop going that far over unless they go all the way down to the corner. Right. I mean, unless it's standard to have a third at the third at this point in the game. Which I don't think it is. No, not not in a mirror matchup. But. Unless unless you're like Flash or the Muslim, but <laughs> that's Flash and the Muslim. I mean, they're both known as triple CC first players. So who the heck knows? Medivac up for both players here. Oh, this Viking coming back just in time. The Marines up that on the is ledge clutch. waiting for them. But it's still, oh, they completely oh, missed. They yeah. saw nothing. He's going to get up into the mineral line of Slick, oh, taking out that tank, landing right on top of it. The bio comes back just in time, but. Uh, I don't think he's gonna. He's gonna have to pull the tanks back. Maybe this is gonna, gonna be, be hard. Close. This tank is already there. If he, he should be able to clean this up. I assume with those missile, uh, the auto turrets there, and the Either way, a very there. successful drop. Yeah, it was really not nice actually, that uh, he was able to snipe that tank so fast. Although I am not so sure. I'd say that went in favor of Battles, but just barely. I, mean, I don't. I don't really think it was a, a bad exchange for either player. No, I mean I'd say it's pretty even. It's only a 25 resource lead for Valazus. <laughs> and they're both taking their expansion at almost the exact same time. Eh, TVT, man. TVT. <laughs> Although, interesting enough, the third of Valazus is not yet an orbital, but it is for Slick. His I, I, did come down a little bit earlier. I think uh, Slick is just a little bit ahead. Uh, he's also got his upgrades just a little bit ahead of uh, Valazus. That he does. Is it I'm just going to go by Valazus. That is better than Valazus. Yeah, I, I, I don't really weird. know how to pronounce that at all. Who knows? Yeah. Although I do have a friend that calls Idra. He says Idra. Yeah, I've heard some people say that too. Um, I'm pretty sure that's Idra though. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Nice little push here from Valazus, but it is going to be Ooh. pushed back pretty handily yeah, by just, those tanks. This is a really bad uh, angle there. The tanks are spread out so well that it's going to yeah. be really hard to push the front at all with a bio force. 
Actually, in this situation, I'd say go ahead and get that, uh, that blue flame upgrade and go ahead and get those hellbots out for Velazis. Yeah, and I would honestly start dropping those on top of these tanks. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we're going to see that here pretty soon. Oh, we're seeing two more factories come down, so it's he's definitely looking to be. either transfer into more of a mech play himself or start getting those hellbat drops. Yeah. Which I still think I'm surprised. I'm honestly surprised we don't see those very much at all anymore. I am I'm too. sure. I'm, su I'm not surprised you don't see it as an opening play because yes, I do understand that it is a lot slower, but still, they barely get used at all unless you're going full mech. It's it's strange. Right. I mean, the Hellbat Marauder push is just insane. Well, I think for the for a while, like I, everybody did it, so everybody would prepare ahead of time for it, and then the meta kind of shifted away from that as people stopped doing it. So I think I mean, if we saw it happen again, then it would actually do quite a bit of work. damage for a while. Yeah, because I mean, like yeah. people don't. People used to like just preemptively put up missile turrets just in case a medevac came through with hellbats because they were that good. Yeah. Uh, see Although, a drop uh, waiting uh, right over here in the corner for Slick. And, and there's nothing here. Oh, he's and he's got all day to take this out. I think he's yeah, and the army is so out of position for Velazus. And uh, he's this, gonna be able this to actually he's gonna take these... out these add-ons. This is yeah. gonna be really bad for Velazus. Gonna take out that missile does, turret as well. He does spot the factors as well, which means he's if gonna he be able to prepare for whatever's whatever coming. Finishes, that's gonna be huge. Ooh, gonna be that so is big. Close. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get he's gonna it. Gonna pull uh, the SCVs. I think the repair will save it. Tank sieging up in a great location. At this point, I would this will uh, see. Thrown back. I think he missed an opportunity there. I think he should have been taking down those SCVs. And he he does clean up most of them. Yeah. That was quite wow. Looking at nine workers total killed. So uh, I think most of those were in that engagement too. Even losing the medevac, a little bit sloppy there, but uh, I think he actually, he he did quite a bit of damage in that drop, and I think it was definitely worth it. Between the two, I'd say Velez is definitely, or not Velez, excuse me, Slick definitely did have the better drop there. Yeah, fourth here already for Velez. <laughs> He's not going to be fooled by that again, throwing down four missile turrets there. It not did actually gonna... take a lot of damage from one Marine. It did, yeah. I think that was just the scouting Marine who ended up being a yeah. hero. Turned into hero Marine. Oh yeah, no, he's paranoid now. <laughs> <laughs> Worth dropping down for Slick. I, mean, I, I think like, uh, I don't think Velazes would be that far behind, except he's like getting mind gamed. You know, he's he's a lot. He feels like he's yeah. behind further than he is. I think because he's really trying to make this push happen. He's gonna be engaged in the middle. In the middle here. More siege tanks for Slick, definitely. That and tank on way in favor. Ten to three for Slick. But but much, all much better control. There. Yeah. I mean, if he drops Drop. on top of these tanks, I think the tanks are gone, and that's what he's going to do. There is no AA here other than one Viking. Yeah, one Viking is going to do it, and the Viking even targets an empty medevac. And everything's going to get cleaned up here. Uh, reinforcements that will count. push it back. Plummet. But, uh, yeah, actually surprised that that didn't go quite as well. I think uh, Valiza should have got out of there once his reinforcements showed up. Yeah, as soon as he made that drop, he, he should have gotten out here, and that tank is going to be 5-0. to zero. So, I mean, it was, it was a good engagement for Valiza at first, but now we're looking at 160 supply to 100. With uh, He does have his fourth down, though, so that's good. And but Slick is looking in a fair position to take this game. He is. Uh, I don't even... I think this Marine Force might even be too much for Valiza to yeah. off. I mean, if you and look at the the uh, army value here, it, oh my gosh, 103 to 41 in favor of Slick. It's yeah. just not even close. I think Slick would have to literally walk his marines or move command his army into the range of these three tanks here down at the natural. I mean, I think he'll be able to hold it off for a little bit longer. He's got these tanks uh, set up here, but he'll be able to delay it. Yeah, but he'll, he'll be able to. Hang again, those Slick could just oh, ele elevate up into the main. Orbital command too. Oh, it's gonna burn down if he doesn't get SCVs over there. He's gonna get it just in time. Yeah, that is very like lucky. 30 health, and, and I mean, you, when it's that low on health, it burns down so quick. I mean, that was like a fraction of a second away from dying. But those SCVs, really nice. If there. that does, and if that Valesis, doesn't go, if that goes down, it's game. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand why Valesis is moving out here when he knows that that uh, Slick is up here where his third used to be. I think he's going for the flank here. Actually, gonna try and wait. Where did his oh, army go? It's kind of a neat idea, but it looks like now he's just going to pull straight back once he sees the Oh, top. wow, that drop up into the natural end of the main. Ooh, I did not spot that at all. Slick's got the that is third very nice. the tanks shooting across the gap. It's so hard to deal with. This flank and will it's take nice little tanks. force over here from flanking. Well, sort of. So well, I guess forced not. to split up his units. He's playing from behind, losing a lot of production facilities here. And just dropping mules at his, uh, what is now his third. Not even able to saturate it. And it looks like this uh, this attack will get cleaned up finally, able to reestablish his third. 
but after doing a lot of damage though look look at the new army though that's sitting back is right outside of slick's base like it's everything that slick lost has now been remade and i think he's yeah, sitting on yeah, but... much better upgrades for his bio yeah, and he's, he's got so much money in the bank too he's looking at well like, actually Velazis is sitting on three three for his bio but yeah, that tank actually, counts what's killing him he's actually able to keep up with that uh with the upgrades fairly well i mean even his plus three weapons they're both getting them at the exact same time but here's the real teller here for me. Look oh, at the bank of oh, Slick. Is oh, up already, my though, and he's able to get a pretty good engagement, but in the end, there's just too many Marines for Slick. It's just, and all it's that just gets remaxed right away. Like there's there's already those those units that he lost are already sitting back in his base. I mean, Slick's sitting on a bank of 3,000 minerals and 1,600 gas. I mean, everything he loses, he's going to be remake, be able to remake almost instantly. That orbital is going to go down at the third. There's no chance of SCV saving that one at all. His tank's in a decent position, but there's only two of them. They're not even able to take out this uh, little bio ball that's bunched up here. This guy does go down here from Slick, sees those two tanks, and is just going to sit over here and siege under these little... That's cute, the little yeah, siege under the... He's just really abusing this. this What's the word? Supply Depot. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and just and elevators back into over the into the natural. Oh, yeah, man. This time he's getting he's Marines back up. to guard his tank, spreading out his tanks a little better so that uh, flank isn't going to hurt him as bad. I think this is just a matter of time now. Velez is going for the YOLO move across the map and the